Oh my god! Oh, oh man. Oh my fucking soul. Hello my friends. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are watching Better Call Saul. Season 3, Episode 6. This one is called Off Brand. Now, I have to be honest with you guys. I have already watched this. I watched it to do my reaction. I filmed this. I should say I've already filmed this before. I filmed my reaction, y'all, about a week ago to this episode. And maybe not that long. It was, it's been almost a week. Put it on the computer like I always do. And then, you know, moved on and formatted the SD card. If you guys don't know what that means, that means I deleted the videos off of my card for my camera so I could record new reactions. Cause I thought all my videos were already uploaded on the computer, all my reaction videos. Turns out they were not. No, they did not upload. And I was in such a hurry, I did not double check. And I will not be doing that again. So my friends, I made the mistake of deleting my first reaction to this episode. Unfortunately, I did try to get it back. And if you're on Patreon, you already know about all this, this whole mess. Cause I posted on Patreon, I was very annoyed. Um, at the time. So, but you know what? I couldn't get it back, unfortunately. Uh, so we're just going to do it again. You know, I just wanted to be honest with you guys. I don't want to fake a reaction because I have already seen it. Um, and I'm not going to be one of those reactors who just fakes reactions to get views. So if you're here for that, that's not me. Just like I won't watch a movie if I've already seen it. I will let you guys know. So, I figured, obviously, since I've seen it, it won't be like a first time reaction, but I'll just give you my thoughts. You know, it'll still be a reaction and I will just give you my thoughts on what I've already seen while I'm watching it. Um, though, you know, I, I, I remember some of it, but I feel like I'm still not gonna remember everything I watched last week. So there still could be some genuine reaction here. But my point is, my very long winded point. <laughs> also, Mary, thanks for the candle if you're watching. Anyway, my point is I've already watched this. So, um, just wanted to be up front with y'all. Anyway, if you are returning, thank you for being here, my friends. If you are brand new, thank you for being here. Trust me, this has never happened before to my new viewers. <laughs> never happened before. And I am really going to try to make sure this never happens again, because I do not like, I, I don't like this. I don't want to re like, since I've already seen it, it feels weird to be doing this, but we're just going to do it. We're just going to go with it. All right. It'll still be fun. Anyway, let's just get to it. My friends, uh, if you do want to check out Patreon, you can, you can, um, yeah, check out my Patreon. You can watch unedited videos with me. If you feel like it, there's lots of content down there bonus stuff. Just go check it out. If you feel up to it. Um, otherwise, otherwise my friends grab your coffee, grab your tea, grab your water, which I didn't grab. I need to get that in a minute. Um, anyway, it's over there. Grab all your drinks. Let's get ready, my friends, for another round of Better Call Saul off-brand. Woo! Cheers! <laughs> okay. Coffee, coffee. By the way, the first time I recorded this, I had tea. And I was like, of course, they're showing coffee. And the one time I don't have coffee, I have tea. Today I have coffee. Woo. Should we do a game? I think I mentioned this in one of the last episodes. Every time I see coffee, we'll take a sip. And there's Mr. Nacho. And I do not recognize this guy. See you, Nacho. 
I don't think that guy was in um, Better Call Saul, but I could be wrong because last time I didn't recognize the guy about to come in and he was, he was in Better Call Saul. So, I mean, in uh, Breaking Bad. Did I say? <sighs> it's one of those days. I can't think. He was in Breaking Bad. I did not recognize him the first time he appeared in Better Call Saul. So I could have been wrong about the first guy is what I meant to say. I think it's one of those days. Can you guys hear my candle? I love it. Hey, my father's gonna bring in his Corolla. It smells Starts so good. Back seat. Like... Let me finish. Also, the name on his shirt is the frickin' furniture store that he was talking about in Breaking Bad. Damn, go. All the details. Hey guys, Why didn't you make it up on your end? I did, but I couldn't make it all up. Just so cool. All the details that they put in. It's just amazing. All right. Make it up next week. Thank you, Nacho. Connector. Who works for who? Huh? He knows what he has to do, but he doesn't want to do it. Coffee time. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ugh, it sucks. I feel bad for that guy, and then knowing like where he ends up. Ugh. Oh yeah. I forgot this part coming up. Ugh. Ow. Ow. Ugh, so gross. Mm. So good, man. Jimmy McGill has worked tirelessly to build a practice that helps an underserved and frankly overlooked segment of our community. He took the time to make sure they had wills that accurately reflected their wishes for a price they could afford. He's devoted the past three years of his life to his brother's welfare. Truth. Dropping everything to care for his brother through multiple hospitalizations. Truth. As I've said before, I believe that Charles cares he about his that Charles had used his love and his caring against him. He had been betrayed by his only living blood relative. Mm -hmm. Jimmy snapped. Wouldn't you? So yeah, I, I believe Charles definitely I cares might. for Jimmy, but um, Jimmy would never do what Charles did. He never would have done that to him. He's more than ready to face the consequences. Smells good. Jimmy McGill had no premeditated agenda when he entered his brother's home. He lost his temper, plain and simple. Is the legal profession better with Jimmy McGill in it? I believe the answer is a resounding yes. Kim is so good. Okay. Love it. Here's to 12 short months. So 12 months of probation, if I remember correctly, where he can't have clients. Have you given any thought to what you're going to do for the next year? You know, with your clients? Whoa, slow down. <laughs> Just enjoy the moment. Tonight, I celebrate exactly. with the best defense attorney. Where are your notes? Let's uh, spread them out and roll <laughs> around on them, see what happens. <laughs> oh, man. Rebecca? Jimmy. Uh, well, I'm, come on in, please. Um, I, I was uh, just at Chuck's, and he won't answer the door. It sounds like Chuck. I'm sure he's fine. He's just being dramatic. I've already kicked my door in for the year. You owe it to him. 
I don't owe him squat. You got what you wanted. Now it's time to do what's right. No. I love how he's Jimmy, using like his Davis and Maine cup. <laughs> so funny. Not anymore, he's not. I don't blame Jimmy, honestly. I really don't. I, I understand both sides, though, but I don't blame Jimmy for doing what he's doing. And he was right, because in the last episode, Kim said, you know, she's going to hate you after this, meaning Rebecca. And he said, yep. Career day's coming up, and she asked me if I would go mm. and talk about her daddy's job. So do you think you're going to do it? I don't know. Maybe. Mikey Mike. Mikey Mike. I thought it was so sweet how he went to the support group with her, but he doesn't look like he wants to keep going. He looked so uncomfortable. Hamlin, Hamlin. Howard Hamlin. Howard Hamlin. I'm not leaving, Chuck. I don't wake up the neighbors, but I got all night. I wonder if he would have really sat there all night waiting for Chuck. 1966, eh? It's pretty old. Jimmy was suspended for 12 months. Yeah. This is a win, my friend. Jimmy's not going to be a lawyer for one year. And if he screws up, his PPD terminates. And that one year may turn into forever. Chuck, you're at a crossroads. You can keep looking backwards, stay focused on your brother, hmm. what he's up to, or you can go forward. That's crazy the way they filmed this um, scene. Kind of reminds me of like a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde kind of thing. Put your energy into the, the dark and the light. Well, so I'm really curious if this is the point where, or I guess the moment that kind of totally broke off Jimmy and Chuck's relationship. Because I know they obviously don't have a relationship in the future because of Breaking Bad. I just don't know what actually brought it to that point. So I'm wondering if it was this episode or the last episode that did it. And I'm hoping it wasn't anything, you know, awful that happened to Chuck. But I guess we, I won't know until, until I watch the whole uh, show. But, yeah, I'm wondering if this was, like, what broke the camel's back for Jimmy kind of thing. Because he did say, like, in this episode, well, he's not my brother anymore. So, I don't know. What you doing there, Chucky? Oh yeah, trying to uh, heal his condition, mind over matter kind of thing. <laughs> the fishy. Francesca, it's go Francesca. time. Francesca. Where do you want to start? With the A's. You know, it's funny, every fish I ever owned as a kid, I ended up killing them on accident. I think I overfed them. It's crazy. I'm like, I can't keep a freaking fish alive, but I can keep two humans alive. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. Hold for Jimmy. I did? Oh, that's, that's, that's an honor. And how did he pass? <laughs> His face. I missed that last time where he's like, That was great. Francesca's so happy, by the way. Like at this point. The Bar Association, and you're gonna get a letter with all the details. So, Mr. Levine. Then you see her in Breaking Bad, and she's <laughs> not so much anymore. I'm including the calico. 
Now, I want to get down into the weeds on this with you, sir. What did he spray? Was that like breath spray? Or was that office supply stuff? <laughs> Uh. Mr. Yalowitz, hey, it's Jimmy McGill. Listen. Yes, Jimmy from TV. You watch it every day, huh? Francesca, get me KWBV. Get me the manager. Then get me somebody who can pull a commercial. Stat. Stat. You finished making your calls? Yeah, that was a ton of fun. It is my KWBV contract. I almost let one of my ads run today. You can't do that. Mm. I know. I've got nine airings left. I'm out 4,000 bucks. Oh, this part coming up, I was like so annoyed with Kim. So what do you want to do about Francesca? Yeah, how much time oh, yeah, this part. two weeks? I'm like, why is that where her mind goes? Because Jimmy could so still you want to fire Francesca? work out of his office doing something else. But I don't need her for you know? more than oh. filing and getting coffee, and I can do that myself. We just hired her. I like her. We know she doesn't go anywhere, but... No, Kim, no! This office is set up for two legal practices, and now there's only one. I we didn't go through all this just to give up everything after one day of suspension. Right. One day. I'll hold up my end, you hold up yours. I get that she's like days. trying to save money. But what bugged me is she just like assumed that Jimmy was not going to keep paying for stuff or find another job or like keep working out of the office. I'm like, don't just assume that. I don't know. It could just be me. I just thought it was Presumptuous, I don't know, kind of thing. Look at the two of you. I mean, you belong on TV. You're naturals. <laughs> I know. Oh, man. We'll shoot your commercial, and then we'll throw in the airtime for the low, low price of The free. low price? It does sound like a good deal. It does. It's a lot of money. That's, that's perfectly understandable. It's a big financial commitment. Uh, that's why we have our uh, toe in the water toe in the package. Water. We'll think about it. Excellent. We would have you on the air by 3.20 this afternoon. You're going to shoot a commercial in the next two and a half hours. Oh, no. I mean, there's a whole post process. But we would need to be shooting. That doesn't sound suspicious minutes. to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that just sounds sounds bad. <laughs> the thing sticking out the window. You okay? No, I air in two hours and twenty minutes, and I have no clients. That's another four hundred bucks down the drain. Maybe you could make a commercial. Have you not been listening? That's what I've been trying. Hi, this is Jimmy McGill for a limited time. No. <laughs> Jimmy McGill's the name. Advertising Get is... Get ready. No, I can't do this. Sure you can. No. <laughs> I'm Jimmy McGill, a lawyer you can trust, and I can't suddenly turn into... It's all good, man. ...commercial guy. For a limited time, we'll shoot your commercial today and have it on air tomorrow. I thought you were, like, president of the drama <laughs> club or something. I'm treasurer. Uh... You, go! Uh, for a limited uh, <clears throat> time, uh, only you... We... <sighs> <laughs> His face. Oh, oh. Los Poyos. And that is the chicken factory, I think. Okay, I couldn't figure this out the first time I watched this either. Is that the chicken factory or the car? No, it is the chicken factory, right. 
because the car wash, yeah, okay. Got it. <laughs> I love the music. So smart, oh my God. It's like so well hidden. You know, sometimes I watch that show, um, what is it called? Border Crossing or something? Anyway, so they check, it's about border agents and, and stuff and they... All the same way? They check the trucks and stuff going through. And they find, the places they find some stuff is nuts. Take your pick. But I'm wondering if they would find that. Probably, they have the dog sniffers. They have the doggies who sniff. Eh, it's a really interesting show though. I learned there's a lot of stuff you cannot bring into other countries and there's a lot of stuff you cannot bring into uh, the United States, which was interesting. If you got out of count, you get five. Don Hector gets six. He's expecting six. And that's what I'm gonna bring. Give it to him. Sure. Give it to him. Nacho Nacho. He has some balls, man. This is the uh, laundry mat. I pretty much picked that up right away when I was first watching it, but yeah. I just think it's so cool seeing it before it got redone and, you know, in its prime and when uh, Jesse and Walt were there, like, <laughs> it's so crazy. <laughs> seeing it just like this piece of shit right now. And it's cool to get the backstory, you know, to see like how far back he's been like preparing this empire that he has, you know, that he gets. And I don't know, it's just really cool to see the backstories of all the characters. Or not all of them, but a lot of the characters in Breaking Bad. Way more than I ever thought I would see in this show. Which I am super happy about. Super happy. No complaints. And it's her! It could work. Okay then. Oh yeah, Chuck. Trying to fix his disease. Or maybe not fix it, but overcome it. I mean, I do give him props for this. I do give him props, but <laughs> can you imagine seeing a guy just walking around in a space blanket like that? As, may, I, may I speak with Dr. Lara Cruz, please? Oh, doc well, I, I, I need to speak with her. Yeah, Charles McGill? I wonder what he wants to talk to her about. Just like his condition or? They called him and uh, while we were waiting to see what he'd say, one of the guys put a gun to my head. They put a gun to your head? Yeah. It's no big deal. No big deal because you didn't have it pointed at your head, dude. So, you father. What does he get his upholstery? He doesn't like this. I want a new way to get my stuff over the border. My father is a simple man. He is not in the business. You will teach him. Don Hector, please. Don't worry. I take good care of Papa. He make money a lot more than with his little sewing machine. Oh, Lord. 
talk to your father. Nacho does not like that. Not at all. Does not want his family involved. Uh, take about an hour. Um, so I'll bring the whole team down there. We'll be there 1230 sharp. I'm going to turn you into a star. Okay. And uh, don't wear stripes because <laughs> you'll more. You'll it's a filmmaking more. Term, yeah. <laughs> I spent most of the day going door to door pitching. No dice. Then it came to me. I'm selling advertising. Why not advertise? What commercial did you run? Not. Oh, wait till you see Jimmy. it, Kim. No, I, I made a new one. So you made a commercial for commercials today? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, let's see it. Yes. <laughs> well, you're getting calls. It can't be that bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually excited to watch this one again, this commercial. What's that I see? Albuquerque's next TV star? <sighs> it's you, small business owner. It's just so great. Look at you. You're a triple threat. Great services, great products, and most of all, that face. Natural charisma and bam, <laughs> bam. you go on TV. Call me. Saul Goodman, the world better needs call to know Saul. about you and your business. Call me now. Call me now. <laughs> Her face is great. She's never seen so many star wipes in oh a row. Oh my god. It's never been done. <laughs> Saul Goodman. Saul Goodman. Yeah, it's like Saul, Saul good, Goodman. man. <laughs> and that is when he starts using the name. It's just a name. Finally, I was wondering when it was going to happen. Huh. And that's the end. Oh Lord, that was that was good. Alrighty, friends, that was the end of that episode. Still an amazing episode. Still awesome. I actually really enjoyed rewatching it. I caught some things that I had actually missed the first time I watched it, so that was interesting. The two things I wanted to talk about in final thoughts are. Um, First thing is I want to talk about Nacho. Uh, I love his character. Like, I really like Nacho. I feel like at heart he's a good guy. And I feel like he does shit that he doesn't want to do because he's like stuck in that life with Don Hector. And he doesn't see a way out because of his family. So I feel like uh, this episode was really interesting because I feel like Nacho is kind of getting to the point where he is getting sick of Don Hector's shit. Like he's getting sick of the choices that he's making. He's getting sick of always playing, you know, just being his his um, lapdog, I guess you could say. And uh, is that the term? His lapdog? Whatever. Anyway, you get the point. He's getting tired of doing everything for Don Hector is what I'm trying to say and doing these things that he doesn't want to do. At least that's how I feel. That's kind of what I took from this episode. And I think he's starting to, to think about ways that he can get out of it or change his situation. And so that's why the pill thing was very interesting during this episode. So I, I, I talked about all this the last time I recorded this, but Basically, my what I was saying is I had a thought, and it's a crazy thought, but I'm wondering if Nacho is the one who puts Hector in his wheelchair. No spoilers, obviously, please. It was just, yeah, I just had that thought during this episode because he, he, he took the pill or he was looking at the pill. One. Sus, sus, suspicious. Two, he's getting sick of Hector's shit. It seems like to me, he's getting sick of it and he wants out. And three, he kind of gave Gus during, not last episode, but I think it was episode four, kind of gave, gave Gus this like lingering, like 
look um, in that episode. And I feel like it kind of maybe had a meaning of, uh, you know, I'm getting sick of Hector's shit or kind of like, yeah, I understand. I have to deal with Hector too kind of thing. I don't know. I could be reading into that. But anyway, I just feel like he's sick of the shit. And I just had that thought when he had the pill and because Hector's already sick. I mean, you can tell he's been coughing and he's not in the best health. And um, anyway, so yeah, Nacho, does he put Don Hector in the wheelchair? I don't know, but I want to find out. That's very interesting. And then my second thought during this episode was when I was talking about all the backstories that we're getting with the characters and how I just love it. I absolutely love it. Let me know. Did you watch Better Call Saul before you watched Breaking Bad? Obviously, don't tell me any spoilers um, past this episode. But if you did, put in the comments below because it's very interesting to me. Because I'm watching Better Call Saul, and I've talked with some people about this in the comments too. Here I am watching Better Call Saul, and all these characters that I already know from Breaking Bad are popping up, and I get super excited, and, I, and we're, we're getting backstories, and we're seeing how things grew before Breaking Bad, and it's all very exciting, and I love it. But see, if I had not seen Breaking Bad at this point, none of that would be happening right now. Like, I would still be enjoying the show, but none of it would be like, oh my God, that's Gus. Oh my God, it's Mike, you know, and it's da da da. And, oh, this is where that came from, you know, the laundry mat, or, you know, just none of that would be happening. And so it makes me wonder how, if you watched Better Call Saul before Breaking Bad, did you enjoy the show? Like, were you still very much into it? Do you wish you had watched Breaking Bad before Better Call Saul kind of thing? But also, somebody brought up a good point in the comments that it could go both ways. Because yes, we watched Breaking Bad, so we're getting all this stuff popping up and we're like, oh, this is so cool. But if you watched Better Call Saul first and then you watched Breaking Bad, it would kind of be the same thing for you just with Breaking Bad. Because you would get to see um, uh, Gus in a different role. You would get to see him later on and then you know mike and all this stuff so that would also be exciting for you if you watched better call Saul first so i don't know it's just very interesting i keep thinking about that as i'm watching this show and i want to know so let me know below your thoughts let me know your thoughts other than that um very exciting that this is the first time uh jimmy is using the better call Saul name I kept wondering, when is he gonna start using Saul Goodman? So at least he has started using it in the commercials, which is which is very interesting. And I'm wondering, that year that he takes off, is this when he really starts getting into Saul? You know, and stuff happens and maybe he doesn't go back to Jimmy in a year. Maybe he doesn't go back to the practice. So I don't know. It's gonna be really interesting and I am very, very excited to, you know, to finish out this season. Um, I am going to make sure this one does not get deleted. <laughs> God damn it. Um, no, lesson learned. Lesson learned. Don't rush. Man, I swear. So yes, that is it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it, even though I had already seen it. I, I still feel like we had a good time. I hope. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for being here. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe below if you enjoyed watching with me. If you want to check out Patreon, go ahead and check out the links below. You can watch everything in full with me, unedited. Everything's there. Um, also bonus content, Patreon only shows, bing, and so much more. And we would love to have you. That's it, my friends. I will see you, hopefully I'll see you, on the next episode. Bye, friends. Let me grab my coffee, ever my coffee. I cannot, I can't, oh my, oh my God, you guys. Drop my phone, I forgot my water. All right, it's gonna be one of those days, isn't it?